let's build a boat. I'm going to show you how. There's a lot of videos on here. Uh, some of these guys tell you you can do it in four hours. You can't do it in four hours. But I'm going to show you what I did. Uh, there's some. I wish there was more pictures. I didn't take a lot of pictures along the way. But what I've done is I've collected up all the pictures I did take and then tried to come up with a presentation from there. But uh, I also made a lot of mistakes, and I'll show you the mistakes that I made. But hopefully this will show you how to make one of these properly. Okay, first of all, you need four pieces of 8x4 uh, 6mm hardwood faced plywood, just the cheap stuff, so uh, WBP is the stuff that you want. It shouldn't cost more than £10 a sheet. Here you see four equal parts, all cut in the same template. Make sure to use the uh, straight edge, the factory straight edge from the plywood on uh, for, for the bottom of the sections. What I've done here, taken all the parts, uh, tape them together and then shape them in the shape that I want. Uh, I think it was just over three foot I made the canoe. I made the canoe quite wide. Uh, I made sure all the measurements were exactly the same for both halves of the bottom section. And then once I was happy with that, I marked it out and then I cut it out. Right, next thing to do is to glue the, uh, the pieces together. So uh, both on the, on the one on the one piece base and then uh, the four sides. You can see in the middle here that I've taken a six inch plank of the six mil ply and then epoxied that uh, onto the pieces connecting all the pieces together. I've weighed that down, let it dry, and then I've gone over with uh, fiberglass tape, let that dry, and then it's all clamped together, ready to be taped, ready for the whole boat to be taped together. Uh, don't use the yellow unsightly Kevlar tape that I've used here. Use clear uh, standard fiberglass woven tape. Right, what you want to do is glue the whole thing, or sorry, uh, tape the whole thing together. Uh, it sounds strange, but I used a, a lot of ton of top grade duct tapes and they all peeled off. The only one that didn't peel off was this Evo Build American duct tape. It's, or, it's always orange. It used to be called uh, Jaffa tape. Uh, and this stuff really grabs, and it'll it'll last quite some time. Also, look at my illustration on the left-hand side. You want the uh, uh, the planks of ply to connect like this, so that you leave a uh, a gap in between, so that you can put in an epoxy paste. Okay, uh, on to the next one. First things first. You look at the yoke, and it's circled in uh, uh, in green. Uh, to me, the yoke was an important part of this, and I notice a lot of guys on, on YouTube, they don't actually put in a yoke. If you cut a really, uh, uh, if you cut a, a really nice yoke, sand it all down, round it all off, make it nice, mine's made out of a, a nice piece of ash, and then insert it into the middle, uh, that will determine uh, how much your boat flares out on the side. The more the flare, the more stable the boat. Um, it also when you start pulling out the sides like that, it creates a rocker on each side, so meaning the ends of the boat start to lift up, okay? And that creates the curve of your boat. Don't add in these supports that uh, that you see on, on the front and back of the boat. They're useless. I put them in, and they were a, they were a waste of time. They, they weren't needed, and they caused a lot of problems when I was trying to fit in the seats. Uh, also, then you can you can actually start now gluing this thing together. You see in the top left-hand corner here, I've started to fillet it. This is a mix of um, epo two-part epoxy and sawdust to make a peanut butter type texture paste that you round into the corners and actually glue all the corners in. Do the entire uh, inside of the boat and then you flip over. So flip it over and then you can remove all your duct tape because you've glued the thing together. You then glue with the paste all around uh, all the edges on the outside in that in that diagonal crevice like I was showing before in that illustration. You can then once once that all that's all dried and and is hardened you have a very rigid boat. You can start taping the boat on the outside with the Kevlar with it, with what you see here is the yellow Kevlar tape. Uh, you can do it with standard fiberglass tape. For the exterior of the boat, I went for a really strong 75mm Kevlar tape for the exterior because I was painting it anyway, and just for a bit of peace of mind. 
Okay, what you see here is a fully glassed boat, so just, just uh, ignore that for now. I wanted to show you uh, the taped boat, all the taped edges. And notice in the top right-hand corner, I've also taped all the connecting, uh, the connecting joints of all the pieces of the, of the ply. You can also, at this point, start thinking about the type of keel that you want. I made my rocker too, uh, uh, too high. I didn't use a straight edge on the uh, on the ply I actually cut a curve up thinking that I didn't have enough rocker once I bowed out the boat I had far too much rocker so I've done quite a pronounced keel here and this keel is all it is is just 18 mil uh, ply and then I've bonded that on with the Evo build uh, pink grip any any decent grab adhesive will do and then filleted it in and then taped it epoxied it all in and then glassed the whole boat Right, you can flip it back over again and you can start putting in things like seats and uh, ends and end shields and I'll show you that in the, in the, in the next one. Uh, and you can have a bit of fun with it as well. I've got my daughter here just drawing in some pictures. My son and daughter drawing a bunch of pictures and what I'll do is I'll just glass over the, uh, the entire thing with, with clear epoxy. Have some fun with this. Uh, it's cheap. You know, this whole boat cost about 200 pounds to make. Um, that's a lot cheaper than a normal boat, so just have some fun with it and make it a little, uh, little bit more unusual than, the, than just a normal boat. Okay, back to this one. You decide on the keel, you finalize all that, make sure you've got the, uh, the, the full length keel. So you've got, uh, here I have a pronounced keel on each end of the boat and then a very, uh, very small uh, line connecting the two. Uh, also notice I've got these uh, uh, makeshift gunwales as well. So what I've done is I've glassed the entire boat inside and out with epoxy. I've also cheated a little bit on the gunwales. Gunwales, which are the, the edges here that you see in the bottom, uh, uh, on the bottom of the boat, or the, the, sorry, the, the top, the, technically the top of the boat. Gunwales should be hardwood, bent, wood, clamped in, and then secured onto the side of the boat. Um, I've done, a, I've cheated, I've actually cut ply in the same shape as the pieces that I put together and then added um, a strip on each side of the boat itself uh, to create kind of a makeshift gunwale. It's, it's cheating, but in the end it looked okay. Okay, so that's the finished product. So you can see that uh, the unsightly yellow tape in the middle, which I'll actually paint over with a red stripe, but preferably you want that all in clear, uh, clear fiberglass tape and epoxied. I've put in uh, uh, simple seats, which is uh, two slats of, um, of a thickish hardwood. I use cheap grandis wood, but I'd probably recommend using an ash similar to what you use for the, uh, for the yoke. And then I've actually uh, hand stitched some leather seats in as well. You can do this where, whichever way you want. Glassed over the, uh, the pictures. So you can see all the pictures my daughter and my son have put in there. I glass straight over that by uh, with epoxy. The sun will probably take the color out of those eventually. But like I said, it's not a, it's not an expensive boat, so just have some fun with it. Also, look at the pasted uh, the edges of the boat. So you can see the epoxy paste and tape. I used uh, pine sawdust. I shouldn't have. I should have used uh, a dark hardwood sawdust or something that was dark that would merge into it now you see a very kind of bright white line along each side of the boat that's not ideal you want something that kind of matches the inside of the exterior of the boat there it is again right what do you need well you might need a plan uh, the best plans i've seen are this michael store quick canoe 155 um, i did mine from scratch but what i did was i ended up making a boat that looked very much like his um, so for I think for about a 30 Australian dollars, you can get a full plans for his Quick Canoe 155, which will look almost identical to this. Four sheets of 6 mil 8x4 WPP hardwood faced plywood. Uh, this is the cheap stuff. Anything more than 10 pounds and you're getting rip, ripped off. Don't buy marine grade ply. It's completely unnecessary. You're glassing and encasing the entire boat in epoxy. Um, you can also use 4 mil on this boat, but 4 mil is a little bit harder to come by in the UK and uh, it made me a little bit nervous as well. So I used the 6 mil, but it does make for quite a heavy boat. One gallon of two-part clear epoxy. I uh, got this at Fiberglass Direct. They're the only guys I could find the, the, the right stuff here in the UK. Manufacturer is Sikkiman. Uh, don't use uh, polyester resin. Just go the whole hog and used a really good uh, two-part epoxy on the whole thing. 
Ever build American duct tape? This is the orange stuff. Don't use anything else. You just waste your time. This this stuff has the grab that you need to actually hold together a, a heavy boat and keep it in place while you're trying to epoxy it. Probably overdoing it on the on the tape, but 20 meters of 75 millimeter Kevlar fiberglass tape for the outside of the boat, and then 20 meters of standard just 50 mil woven fiberglass tape for the inside of the boat. This dries clear. Uh, so it'll look a lot better in the inside of the boat, assuming that you're going to keep it uh, keep it wood. You might want to paint it as well. This can also be found at Fiberglass Direct, uh, but you can get the standard stuff on eBay uh, uh, really cheap. Four meters of thick hardwood slats for the seat slats. Uh, any wood you want there, but you need a, a hardwood that doesn't bend and that can uh, that can hold the weight of a human. Suitable piece of hardwood for the yoke. Sizes can vary. I picked up something from eBay from a guy who just sold bits of uh, hardwood that seemed to be his business. I use ash because I, I googled it and it looked like ash was the hardest. Um, this stuff was like rock, so so I would uh, I would recommend it. All right, so that's all you need. Go off and build a boat.